Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel I Love Pharmacology and today's session let us learn about the pharmacology of rifampicin. So the learning objectives for today's session is at the end of this class you should be able to answer the mechanism of actions, clinical uses, root as well as the pharmacokinetic properties and the side effects which are caused by rifampicin. So moving on to the mechanism of action. So the rifampicin binds to the DNA dependent RNA polymerase and it inhibits the activity of DNA dependent RNA polymerase. This is the major mechanism of action of rifampicin and also you should remember that this inhibition takes place in the prokaryotic cell but not in the eukaryotic cells. Apart from this, the rifampicin also enters into the phagocytic cell where it kills the intracellular microorganisms including the tubercle bacillus. But remember the major mechanism of rifampicin is it inhibits the activity of the DNA dependent RNA polymerase. So moving on to the clinical uses of rifampicin. It is used in the treatment of mycobacterium tuberculosis as well as the treatment of leprosy. So coming to the rifampicin, route of administration and important pharmacokinetic properties. It is administered through oral route. It gets widely distributed in the tissues as well as the body fluids including the CSF where it can cause orange stench secretion from the saliva, sputum, tears and the sweat. And it gets excreted partly in the urine as well as partly through the bile and it undergoes the enterohepatic cycle. And the, what are the metabolites which are formed from the rifampicin? It retains the antibacterial activity but is less well absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Whereas the off-life of rifampicin is 1 to 5 hours and its off-life will become shorter and shorter during the treatment because of the induction of hepatic microsomal enzymes. So remember that rifampicin is a potent hepatic microsomal enzyme inducer. So coming to the side effects which are caused by rifampicin, usually the rifampicin commonly causes flu-like symptoms like skin eruptions, fever and gastrointestinal disturbances. Apart from this, rifampicin can also cause some liver damages uh, with jandies. So that's why before administering the rifampicin, you need to check for any uh, uh, liver dysfunction by doing liver function test and also after administration of rifampicin you need to monitor the liver function test regularly and also commonly which is not harmful rifampicin can also cause oranges tinge discoloration from the saliva sputum tears as well as sweat so coming to the drug interactions which can occur with rifampicin. So since you all of you know that rifampicin is a potent hepatic microsomal enzyme inducer, it is the one which leads to the uh, drug interactions. So the important cause for drug interaction is the induction of hepatic metabolizing enzymes which increases the degradation of the drugs which are metabolized by the enzymes which are induced by rifampicin. So the examples of the drugs where their degradation process increases is warfarin, glucocorticoids, narcotic analgesics, oral antidiabetic agents, dapsone and the estrogens. So the speciality of rifampicin and estrogen is whenever you administer rifampicin in a uh, in an individual in a female individual who are on contracept oral contraceptive pills, this rifampicin will going to increase the degradation of estrogen and it will reduce the estrogen therapeutic concentration leading to the failure of the oral contraception. So next moving on to the summary of the rifampicin. So coming to the mechanism of action, it inhibits the DNA dependent RNA polymerase and clinically it is used in the treatment of mycobacterium tuberculosis and leprosy and root it is administered through oral root it enter it undergoes uh, uh, enterohepatic circulation and it has got a potent enzyme inducing property 
which can lead to many drug interaction and the side effects it will resembles to that of the flu like symptoms and also it can cause liver damage and orange stain secretion which are not harmful and very important point you should remember is uh, along with the when you give rifampicin along with the estrogen the estrogen concentration will be reduced due to the increased metabolism of the estrogen leading to the oral contraceptive failure so this was about the rifampicin pharmacology if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button and bell icon for more updates on pharmacology thank you